So any one of the physical therapists on the list will do, right, Doctor? They're all at the same level? They're all top-notch. That's if I need a physical therapist. Hush, you. And you said lots of rest, but is complete bed rest safest? You cannot confine me to a bed. That's a violation of my civil rights. Hush, you. You need to monitor his progress. Everyone recovers at different speeds. OK, and when you say plenty of fluids, does hot tea count or just water? He likes hot tea. You've got to stop talking about me as if I'm not here. Logan. Mom. Tea's fine. Water and juice are better. And this wheelchair is absolutely necessary. Hospital policy, sir. Just till you get out of the building. Can we at least go faster? No, we'll get G-forces. Doctor, can I go home to your house? I think I have much more fun there. You're in good hands. Uh, just call if you have any more questions. I will. Thank you, Dr. Schultz. OK, so I cut off an old lady with a handicap sticker, so we got a primo spot right out front. Colin is meeting us at the apartment to help me get you upstairs and in bed. And it's a little cold outside, so you might need a scarf. I should have brought you a scarf. Maybe they have some in the gift shop. I'll go check. Actually, there's something going on here. What, your throat? Is it sore? Yeah. Should I go get Dr. Schultz? I mean, we're here. We might as well. Thank you for being who I want to get out of the hospital for. You're welcome. I'm not cool. I'm fine. You promise? I promise. OK, let's go. <laughs> we get to go at my speed. Wake me when we hit the door. Phase, anaphase, telephase. Paris? Yeah, reproductive tract. What? Seven up, seven of first tubules, epididymis, vas deferens, ejaculatory duct, nothing, urethra, penis. What are you doing? Phoning up, pardon the pun, got my MCATs coming up, medical school. I meant what are you doing here? Looking after you. Oh, goody. It's necessary. You seem like the kind of lunkhead that would get up too soon and inadvertently push a broken rib bone into his spleen. Well, hey there, sleepyhead. Oh, goody, a matching set. You sleep well? He's watching me too. Rory said it would be OK. Hey, now that you're awake, you mind if I switch the TV to the speakers? They're just about to reunite with their husbands, and I'd love to get the full surround experience. Who? The Penguins. You haven't seen the Penguin movie? The Penguin movie rocks. They'll move you, my friend. So, is it OK? Hey, mikase su casa. Great. Whoa, 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 where do you think you're going, cowboy? Nature calls. You can't get up. Rory said you need complete bed rest. She trusted me with your well-being. I cannot betray that trust. Then what's your suggestion for my current predicament? I'll get the bedpan. Where's your bedpan? I don't have a bedpan. You got Tupperware? Paris. Doyle, watch him. Pausing. Hey, why aren't you asleep? Because I woke up. You're supposed to be asleep. I've been asleep for a week. My body's bored asleep. It wants to do something. Well, good thing your body has no say in the matter. Hey, boss, you're going to want to see this. Um, hold on a sec. You've got to call off your sentries. They're there for a reason. To reenact their favorite scenes from Misery? Your kitchen needs organizing. Yeah, I'll get right on that. You shouldn't talk loudly. You'll strain something. I've got Dina and Moshe Abramowitz on top of me. Where's Paris in the kitchen? Oh, she's looking for a bedpan substitute. Oh, dear. You're really going to want to see this. Just leave it, Bill. But I want to see the look on your face when you read it, provided you still have a face after your head explodes. In a sec. Roy, look, I love your concern for me. I love that you're so invested in my well-being, but even the doctor said that if I feel strong enough to move around, then I should do it. It's good for me. I don't know that that doctor knows what he's talking about. You mean the Johns Hopkins graduate knows less than you? I'd kill to get into Johns Hopkins. Here, patient's choice. Oh, OK, if I unpause? Unpause. Here come the penguins. Look, maybe the doctor knows a little bit of what he's talking about. You think? So I guess get up a super slow. It should look like a Monty Python routine you're moving so slow. I'll make John Cleese proud. And let Doyle help you. At least the first time, you could get dizzy. I'll let him help me to the bathroom door, but I've got to take it from there, Ace. Fine. <laughs> I cannot look at the shot of the dead baby penguin. Me neither. Dead people, yes, not penguins. You'll deal with Paris? Put her on. Thank you. Paris? Can I look? We're clear. Please talk to Roy. What is so important about the Wall Street Journal? Oh, you'll see. Hey, stand down. What? Thank you for sitting with him, but I think he needs a little less hovering right now. Warren Beatty Jr. smooth talk you? No. Even the doctor said he should be moving around some. I think I've been a little overprotective. Your call. Have Doyle lend him a shoulder right now, OK? Fine. Doyle, give Logan your shoulder. You got it. See you soonish. Just finishing up here. Me shoulder as Sue shoulder. <sighs> hey, this is very life affirming, very penguin-esque. With the soundtrack music playing like that? <laughs> Hurry your soonish. I will. What is it? I highlighted the appropriate section. Oh, it's going to be a quiet, slow-burning seed. Disappointment. <laughs>